Let's go ahead and get affordable here. We're gonna be going over seven fragrances that pack a big punch for a low cost. So when I go through my collection and I start taking a look around at everything that I have, uh, I can find a lot of fragrances that hit hard, that open up with a bang, they get your attention right away, and they also perform good, they have great quality, good compliment getters, uh, all around great scents. But you'll find that a lot of fragrances that check off all of those boxes are gonna cost you an arm and a leg almost. I mean, anywhere from upper end designer range of 90, 100 plus at discounters, all the way over into the niche category, which gets even more insane. So today let's focus on some more affordable ones. Uh, some of these I guess can be considered cheapies, a few of them. Some just more affordable, especially when you take a look at the big picture, you zoom all the way out. All of these here are gonna be significantly more affordable. Seven fragrances, all designers. We'll provide links down below to discounters so you can pick them up at a price below retail. Uh, of course, they're only gonna be affordable at discount prices. Uh, these are all pretty much gonna MSRP for uh, the same, which is about $80, $90. So don't go looking at retailers for these and then get upset that they're not affordable. Shop with discounters. I'll hook you up with the best prices down below. Let's get things kicked off with a Ferrari. And it may sound expensive, and Ferrari is expensive, uh, but we're not talking cars though, we're talking fragrances. This one is pure lavender. So you see the name, you see the logo, and you're immediately thinking niche pricing, but most of the car fragrance brands out there kind of end up falling into the cheapy category, and that's kind of where this one is. I wanna say, oh, what did I pay? $30 for this, somewhere around in there. Full presentation, 100 mil, uh, nice metal cap. Uh, really, really nice presentation for the price. So of course it's gonna have lavender. We've got clary sage, cashmere wood. Really like it. Uh, they've got a few really good ones. Bright and rolly, very popular. Uh, another one that they have that's really nice is radiant bergamot. But I wanted to feature this lavender one, just a little bit less talked about. But it smells fantastic, and I also think that it's really appropriate for right now. Uh, if you're somewhere in the world where it is springtime and the temperatures aren't too crazy in either direction yet, this is going to be for you. It's clean, it's fresh, it's soapy. You know, it kind of gives me a, a similar feeling to something like Prada Lome, for an example, does. Now, I'm not saying this smells like Prada Lome. It doesn't, completely different. But Prada Lome is a soapy clean office scent. And I kind of have a, a similar usage guide for this one. It just makes me feel well put together, upscale and classy. And of course, it's some very affordable stuff here. Next up, we're gonna go with a Lalique White and Black. So the reason why this one is so significant is that uh, smells very similar to Parfums de Marley Leighton, okay? I wanna say you're looking at 45, somewhere around in there, 45, maybe 50 for uh, 125 milliliters. This is also a limited edition, not gonna be around forever. So if you have any sort of interest in this and you want Leighton for a fraction of the price, I will get one of these sooner than later, but it really does do a good job of portraying Leighton. Not a 100% match here, uh, but very, very impressive. Vanilla, lavender, cinnamon. Uh, I believe there's a sandalwood in here as well. Let's give this one a sniff also, might as well. Man, I absolutely love it, gorgeous. And the reason why I love it is because I love Leighton. Big fan of Leighton. I got my bottle sitting right back there, uh, which I did purchase by the way. And I just noticed that there is a spider or something on the ceiling. Let me take a picture and show you. So it's actually not a spider. Seems to be uh, centipedes of some sort, something like that. Um, literally just looked back to look at my bottle of Leighton. And I see this massive bug on the ceiling and I was trying to keep my composure, but I figured I'd show you anyway. I'll be back to it here though. Uh, I did set my bottle down somewhere. Uh, well, I'll leak white and black, here it is. Great stuff, if you want Leighton at an affordable price, seriously, do not sleep on this one. Next up, Narciso Rodriguez Blue Noir Eau de Toilette Extreme. Quite the name, especially if you include For Him. So it's Narciso Rodriguez, Blue Noir, For Him, Eau de Toilette Extreme, somewhere around in that order. That's a lot. We'll keep it easy though and just call it Blue Noir Extreme, really, or Blue Noir EDT Extreme. I don't know, because uh, there is just a regular EDT. But the point is, this one is a very nice, clean, refined, masculine, warmer weather scent that doesn't go too far in the basic uh, direction like a lot of summer fragrances would do. 
We've got musk, citruses, cedar wood, ebony wood, woods in the base, citrus and musk up top. It's pretty simplistic. You know, it's not like there's a whole bunch going on, but at the same time, it still is a step above a lot of the other traditional summer fragrances. Now this one here, kind of like the Lalique, they're gonna be in similar price ranges, uh, depending on where you go, maybe $40, 100 mil. Um, so, you know, it's kind of right there on the edge. Some people would say it's cheap, some people not. The point is, in the grand scheme of things, looking at the whole entire fragrance world, especially as fragrances these days are getting more expensive. Take a look at all the new parfums and, and everything being released at retail. You're looking at like upwards of $140, $150 at retail for designer fragrances for 100 mil. Everything's getting more expensive. It makes $40 or so for this at discounters, uh, not a bad deal at all. And it really isn't, to be fair. It's a great pickup, it's a good performer. My girlfriend chose this one as uh, one of her spring fragrances when she put together that video. And it was a great choice. She really liked this one, it's a people pleaser, and a uh, step above the rest. Let's go with this, Rojas Loam. Love the bottle, absolutely love the bottle. Nice presentation here on this one as well. Uh, bottle has a good amount of heft, not as much as mustache does, um, but still nice presentation. Custom presentation, it's always cool to see, has a texture to it. Looks classy and refined, and it's kind of what the scent is. Blood orange, juniper berries, and pineapple are some of the main notes. Very aromatic, uh, very clean, fresh. Not really blue fragrance, although, would this potentially be Rojas's take out of blue fragrance or Rochas? People get triggered to the ultimate degree when I mispronounce this one apparently. Um, so I'm gonna do it on purpose now, Rochas. Uh, is this their take on a blue fragrance? Uh, it could be, maybe a little, but it's not, I mean, nearly to that point. I mean, you know, it, it's similar to Dolce & Gabbana K, although much better, much more refined better fragrance overall, and so is K, Dolce & Gabbana's take on a blue fragrance. I think they're definitely trying to target or tap into the ultimate wearability crowd, and so you could kind of, you know, pick and choose what you want to think there, but I will say, you know, it does have that wearability of a blue style scent, it does have good performance, good compliment factor, and for the price, this one is incredible. And there's a new fragrance, or a new flanker of this one coming out too, which I can't wait to try. Let's go with this one next. Guess Seductive Ohm, just the original. Amber, pink pepper, and orange. Some of the main notes. Warm, spicy. Maybe not what you would expect, but uh, it is. And it's really nice. Uh, this is the perfect classic example of me completely skipping like the originator of a fragrance line and picking up all of the flankers before this one. Uh, it's kind of what happened and that happens a lot, you know, and, and just crazy how it goes. A lot of times flankers are improvements over the original and there are some flankers that I really like of this one and in certain instances I would like better than this one, but yet I still do really like this original now that I've gotten to smell it and put my nose on it and really test it. Uh, it's pleasing. It's better than you would think. Uh, you know, it's not the most unique thing ever, but for the price, I mean, this one really falls into that cheapy range. You might be able to get this at rack stores maybe, I'm not for sure. Uh, it's a no brainer for me. Warm, spicy, sweet, a little bit kind of inviting and warm, maybe a tiny bit daring. That's a nice little something something for not a lot of money. Second to last fragrance, we have Carolina Herrera, Chic for men, eau de toilette. Watermelon, black pepper, and cinnamon are some of the main notes. So I've mentioned this one here and there, and what I like so much about this one is it gives me Abercrombie & Fitch first instinct feels. And the reason why is because that melon note primarily, watermelon in this one, melon in first instinct, it immediately gives it this tropical smell. And you'll also notice another similarity here, the black pepper. Uh, First Instinct has some sort of pepper, I think it's black pepper, uh, pretty strong. And this one does as well. So it's this tropical kind of fruity melon smell mixed with a pepper and then woods. Uh, this one also happens to have cinnamon, giving it a little bit more of a spicy sweetness, but there are some similarities, not one-to-one -one exact matches, but it, it kind of puts me in a similar mindset of you know, getting ready for summer. First Instinct is like the ultimate vacation fragrance for me anyway, one of them that and St. Bart's on the cheapy side, amazing stuff. And this one's almost like spring, kind of 
almost a pregame for the summer season. You know, it has some sweetness. Uh, cool air is still in the air, right? Springtime. Cool weather is, you know, still going to be an ongoing thing. And so it's kind of getting you warmed up and getting you ready for those tropical fragrances. Very, very versatile, very wearable, also affordable. And it's really easy to overlook this one. Very plain bottle, uh, cap and everything. It is very cheap, just a square atomizer. Nothing to write home about presentation-wise. You're paying for the, the fragrance itself, and the fragrance itself is actually very pleasant. And last up, we have Zinnia Intenso, another cheapie here. Iris Tonka Cardamom. Nice little note breakdown. Hard to beat that. Love all of those notes, especially in combination. And so when I smelled this one, I'm like, yep, that's it. For the price, this is fantastic. It's not your traditional men's fragrance. It's not your traditional cheapie. Most cheapies for men are going to be in the aquatic fresh range simply because most people know this, but uh, freshies, aquatics are the cheapest to produce. And that's why there are so, so many. And that's why a lot of them end up being so affordable, especially at discounters and at TJ Maxx and all that stuff because it costs them nothing to produce. Um, so when you can get something in a similar price range uh, to all of those, but it's completely different, it's kind of nice. It's a breath of fresh air. You don't have to go out and pay you know, $100 for Dior Homme Intense to get a good iris fragrance or 70 for Gentleman Eau de Parfum or 80 for Prada Lome, whatever. You can get your hands on iris for a lower price and smell different. And that's what this one's all about. Fantastic stuff. Alrighty, that's going to do it for me. Seven fragrances that pack a big punch for a low cost. Uh, fans of all of these. I really am. Uh, these are fragrances that I wear, that I reach for, that I like. Even though I have, say for example, Leighton, I would still reach for the Lalique. In fact, I do. Uh, if it's a day where I'm just kicking it around the house, um, I'll, I'll just spray this one on because might as well, right? Save my bottle of Leighton for more notable occasions, right? Definitely not affordable stuff. Um, you know, I don't know what else. Uh, Chic, love this one as well. Of course, the Ferrari, amazing stuff. Great leather fragrance. I mean, all of these are ones that are are really remarkable and they definitely have a nice place in my collection. I will provide links to these down below so you can get them actually at an affordable price. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one and I'm going to take care of that bug. Take care.